Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm sad to say I'm here all by myself. I think I'm going to be all by myself for the whole week because Jim has to work second shift. I'm Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I almost forgot to say it. Woo. Okay, today I'm going to be putting in a couple little videos. I did capture Jim before he left, and um, but the first one I'm going to put in is is the one with Mr. Brown helping me clean the floor. I had talked about him cleaning the floor with me and so today I'm going to put a little video of in in of Mr. Brown cleaning the floor and after that video you will see a delicious egg cooked by Mr. Jim. Yeah, it's a really it's it's the egg that I talked about yesterday that I said was really tasty that he makes and it smells so good well I'm going to share that with you and in the video I actually mentioned Boone hi Boone I use the dishes that are like just like your dishes but I've had my dishes for 40 years I'm curious how long have you had your dishes you're a lot younger than me mine was a, a shower gift when I when we got married and it was in May of 1980 that I received those dishes. Hello there, Mr. Brown. Oh, uh, gonna poop. First I have to poop. Come on. Is it clean? It's clean. All right, up. It's all done. It's all done. Up. Okay, we'll sit. We'll hold you a minute. Hold on. Let me put you down. I wanted to show what Jim's eggs look like. He's putting cheese and pepperoni on it. It's partially cooked a little bit, and now he's adding this stuff to finish cooking it off. Boy, that smells good. And you've got, what, Italian seasoning? Just Italian seasoning and some garlic. Well, it looks heavenly. I'll show it to you when it's done, too, before he eats it. Looks really yummy. Yep. All that nice sharp cheddar, cheddar cheese. cheese. Yep. He puts the stainless steel cover that he flattened for me on top. And voila! It's done. Look at how tasty that is. And the cheese puffs up and bubbles up and gets really soft. And you can see the bubbling on the side. Now it's time to put it in his dish. And he's going to eat. You gotta love this new frying pan. I got this frying pan for Christmas. And look how it just slides right out. Couldn't ask for better. And boom, there's our dishes. <laughs> <laughs> she has the same dish. Our dishes are over 40 years old. I wonder how old hers are. She's a lot younger than me. You're gonna drizzle, the, he's gonna drizzle the oil on top. And bacon grease. Bacon grease? Yeah, that's what I used. Do I still have my bacon and eggs? Yeah, you do. In a Very sense. good. Looks delicious. Okay. 
he likes hot sauce. So he's going to put a little bit of hot on it. Ooh, look how pretty. Frank's Red Hot. Yep. Tastes very good with that on it. That looks good. Ooh, la la. Look how pretty. Oh, this one's Berman's. That's All Berman's. these brands. Oh, well. But it's still okay. good. Same as Frank's. Just a different brand. Now, shall I catch you tasting it? So you can tell everybody how good it is. See how good it looks in the bottom? Yep. There you go. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. I know. You make good food. It smells delish. You want some? No, thank you. And I also wanted to share with you today, I started the jump rope challenge. This is the schedule that was given to me. And I did my 50 jumps today. I'm doing a skip. Uh, I'm not jump jumping. I'm doing a skip roping. And I have made a jump rope because I can't find the one that I that I have had. This one I made for Kyle when he was when we had to he had to do some jump roping in his virtual learning. And so I made this jump rope for him, and it's it's perfect for me. It works really good. In fact, Emily tried it today and she said, wow, this works even better than the one that she bought at the store because it's got just the right amount of weight to it. And to measure a jump rope, you're supposed to stand on, put one foot in the middle of the jump rope, one foot in the middle where it's folded in half, make the sides the same. And then you're supposed to pull on it and it's supposed to come right to your armpits. That's how you know whether your jump rope is the right length or not. This one, thank goodness it stretches a little because I did make it to fit Kyle, but it does fit me. He's gotten pretty tall, and so this one fits me. And he was so funny because he was measuring it every time he had to use it. And I says, Kyle, it's made special for you, so it will fit you. But I stretch it, and it fits me too. Now tomorrow I'm going to have to jump 150 times, but you don't have to do them all at once. The 50, I did do all at once. So tomorrow, I'll probably do 50 each time and do it three different times to get the 150. So anyone that wishes to join in on this, you're more than welcome to join in on this. The person that started the Jump Rope Challenge is Changing Chris. Christine started it. So if you'd like to join, I will be putting her link in the description and you can find her. And I found out because of Caroline, Omad Caroline, she's the one that mentioned it. So check out both these ladies and you just might find it's something that you enjoy. They're both into, into fitness and in health. And if that's what you're into, you might enjoy them too. So we'll take care and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.